identifying the digraph sh sound in each word using pictures and print. So today I'm going to teach the sh sh digraph sound. As often heard when someone is asking people to please be quiet and place their finger on their mouth and make the sound shh. That is our sound for today. And we're going to see where it fits in certain words. Some words have the shh sound at the beginning, some have it in the middle, and some have it in the ending. So I have our cards here, and we're going to first start with this picture. Is it beginning, middle, or ending? We don't know until we know what the picture represents. So what does that look like? A kid might say a square. So I would say, does, does square have the sound shh? No. Purple. Does purple have the sound shh? No. What is a circle and a square and a rectangle? Shape. Yes, shape. And now we'll look at it. Where do you hear it? In the beginning, middle, or ending? Shape. In the beginning, yes. And let's look at the word. And does it start with S-H? Sh shape, yes. Then I would go to the next word. Show the picture. If they say clothes, does clothes have sh sound in it? No. What else is there? They look like they might be dirty clothes, so where would you put the dirty clothes? In the washer. Where do you hear sh in that word? Say it with me. Washer. Do you hear it in the beginning? Washer. No. Middle. Washer. Or the ending. Washer. In the middle. Yes. Let's make sure by checking the word. And there we have it. Right in the middle. And then our last word picture is this. What do you think that is? If they say water, that does not have the sh sound. Remember, that's what we're listening for. What are they doing with their hands and the water? Wash. Yes. Where do you hear the sh at the ending? And let's make sure. Take the tape off. And does the word wash have sh at the end? Yes. So let's say them together. Shape. And it has the beginning. Sh. Washer. And in the middle, it has the sh. And wash has the sh at the ending. This activity is important to teach because in using pictures and print words, kids learn the relationship between letters and sounds in words, which helps them with their reading. These are the cards I used in the demonstration. I made these cards and printed them on 5388 templates by Avery index cards. These are additional picture print cards to use to teach kids the sh, sh sound. This is a quick assessment. For kids that have proficiently completed the picture print cards with you, read each word below out of order and have them tell you where the sh sound is heard. The steps taken in this lesson. Number one, modeled how sh sounds using the example when you ask for quiet. 
Number two, explain the purpose of the lesson. Show where the SH sound is heard in the beginning, middle, or ending of a word. And number three, cover the word on each picture, word card. When kids identify what the picture is and where they hear the SH sound in the word, uncover the word. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you. And as always, I will leave a link for all the teaching templates in the description section.